Hi, I'm Chad from Chad DIY, and today we're doing a project on this Creality Falcon 2 22 watt laser. Now, the project we're gonna do on this laser is a fall sign. Why not, huh? We're getting kind of close to fall, so we'll do a fall sign. I'll take you kind of step by step how to make this sign with the Falcon 2 laser. Uh, it turned out really well, it did a really nice job, so let's get started. All right, the wood we're gonna use for this project is quarter inch birch plywood. Now, the reason I like this material so much is it cuts really well and also I can find it locally. Some of the eighth inch stuff is a lot harder to find at your local big box stores, but it's always uh, in stock with this quarter inch birch, so that's what we're gonna use. Two sheets of the 12 inch by 12 inch. All right, first thing we're gonna open up Lightburn and import our file. I got this file off of Etsy. I'll provide that link down in the description as well. I'm gonna kind of just separate the two parts of the files uh, just so I can print on the 12 by 12 sheet of plywood for each. I'm going to start just doing uh, the circle, so I'll delete everything besides that. I'm going to switch from a uh, fill line, or a fill to uh, a cut line here. And we should be able to cut it out. All right, so I have all my pieces cut. They turned out very well. The only minor thing that happened was I do have a little bit of char on all the edges. Now that's kind of unavoidable, especially when you're doing a quarter inch material as opposed to eighth inch on these machines. But part of that is operator error. So my goal when cutting anything out is always to go as fast as possible, but also making sure that everything is cut out cleanly. There's nothing worse than you get 98% of it is totally fine, but then there's like 2% that you have to go back and cut out with a utility blade or something like that to get it to pop out. So I always want to go faster as possible, and that way you're getting a cleaner cut and not quite as much char. And now that I do have all my pieces cut out, uh, because of the char, I think I'm going to, before I hand paint everything, usually I just hand paint this, but I think I'm going to spray paint everything with a, a primer. So with that kind of char and all these little nooks and crannies, if you will, uh, that spray paint will be able to get in there a little bit better and then I'll go and paint it by hand after that.
All right, so we have everything painted up. Uh, it turned out really well. We got some different colors. So now it comes to the fun part where we can start gluing it onto the circle board. Now what I'm using to glue it, it's a clear gel tacky glue. I can provide the link down below for that. Another option is using double stick tape. Now I should have done this before I actually cut everything out. So you double stick the back of the board before you cut it. That works out really well when you're sticking the pieces together. The reason I didn't do this is to uh, kind of adjust the fall in some of the letters. I feel like I'm gonna have to move them a little bit. The double stick tape does not work very well for that. You kind of have to know exactly where you want it. It's not as forgiving as the tacky glue. So that's why I'm going with this option. All right, so here's the finished product, and really, how fun is that? Uh, Hello Fall, it's great. Now, I got this file on Etsy, I'll include that link, and as well, as you want, if you don't have a laser cutter and you still wanna buy this, uh, I'll provide a link to my Etsy shop as well, where you can purchase this as well. But I know a lot of focus on laser cutter videos is just how fast, how powerful they are, and really this Creality Falcon 2 laser, it is fast, it is powerful, especially for a dial laser, but what it can do for projects like this is really incredible. Now, if you're interested in purchasing this Creality laser cutter and engraver, I'll provide that link down below. Uh, affiliate link, it really helps support the channel. If you were gonna buy this laser, like really encourage you to include that link. If you have any questions on this project, uh, on the laser cutter, on anything you've seen in this video or anything else, uh, leave them in that comment section below and I'll make sure to get back to you. So we'll see you on the next one.